As many parents are trying to work off the quarantine 15, that would be the weight that we all have gained since the lockdown, we might want to turn our interest to our kids as the latest survey shows that the average kid has gained 5.5 pounds since the lockdown. Joining me now to talk about that and a whole lot more is Dr. Jason West. All right, I'll, I'll start with this. I know we, I've gained my quarantine 15, but it looks like I'm going to turn my attention to my kids, right? Well, you're not alone in, in exactly what we talked about. If kids, you know, they're sleeping in a little bit later, they're reaching for food that makes them feel good, it's putting on their system, and they're not as active as they're supposed to. We've got to get our kids moving again. Okay, we've seen the obesity rate rise in kids as well. This, so far, 2020 cannot be good for trying to reverse that as well, right? For sure. And what's happening is people are getting too many calories, kids particularly, through their drinks. They're not getting the fiber and the, and the cellular stuff that they need out of the plants and vegetables because we're all, everybody's off their schedule and it's putting pounds on everybody. We've got to get kids to move. We've got to get them out of the house. We've got to get them out in the air. Do you think a lot of these kids are eating more because they're stressed out? They're not going to school. Obviously, they watch the news. They see what's going on in the world. What kind of psychological toll does it play on the kids, and that's why they're eating more? Well, number one, I think it's boredom number one, and then number one A is stress. I mean, so many times people are eating because, well, what else am I going to do? Like, I'm not going to school. I'm not doing my normal routine. I can't be in sports right now. Well, I'm just going to grab, you know, Oreo. I'm going to grab some Kool-Aid. I'm going to grab something. And it feels good because it helps so many of those receptors, but it's not healthy. We've got to get kids out and moving again. Okay, lastly, let's talk about body shaming. The latest stats I see here is that 94% of teenage girls and 64% of teenage boys have been body shamed. This additional weight that we're gaining right now, how does that play into all of this? Well, it's going to be devastating for someone that's suffering with self-image. And again, the way to do it, and this is hard to do when you're young because you're bulletproof, right? You never think you're going to get old. You're going to get arthritis and aches and pains. But you are what you eat. You are what you absorb. It's our fault for not making our kids move as much as they should. And we put junk in the house. So if they're eating junk, we need to get the junk out, put the healthy stuff in, get them outside in the sunlight. And let's get rid of some of these self-image problems. I agree. Great stuff, Dr. Jason West. We certainly appreciate your time today on the show. See you guys later.